Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do my full review of the Tepe Designs Hornet 2.0. So this was loaned in to me by Justin over at OCD for EDC. You'll see him linked below in the description. Uh, Justin has become a buddy of late, and uh, he's a great dude. Molly over there is a great chica. Um, they're just a really cool couple doing cool shit on the YouTubes. Um, they also have a store, ocdforedc.com. They recently became Tucson dealers. Uh, they have other knives on there already, as well as the CME, which if you're left-handed is a game changer for anything with a compression lock. Uh, but yeah, I really uh, have enjoyed getting to know them of late. And um, we're gonna get Molly on the live stream eventually. <laughs> uh, so anyway, this is the Tepe Designs Hornet 2.0. I incorrectly stated that I thought this was made by Best Tech. Uh, Justin did inform me it is not. It is made by another OEM. I can't remember it. It was like HE Designs, I think. HE Knife, something like that. Um, out of China, and guys, they fucking killed it, okay? Um, I'm pretty sure the first Hornet was made by Best Tech. Something from Tepe was made by Best Tech, I think. I remember him saying that on Ray's podcast, so, I mean, I could be wrong, but, um, I have to say, the fit and finish and the quality of this knife is very impressive, um, especially for whatever the price was, probably like 250 or something, um, it is very well, I mean, this is like close to Riot level, um, excuse me, on this bad boy, and the detent is dialed perfectly, so, uh, let's get into it. Aesthetically and materials wise, you have this ridiculously awesome carbon fiber with a liner lock. I think it's a steel liner lock, not titanium, but I could be wrong. I've been wrong before about this knife. Uh, you have a milled titanium clip with a ceramic ball. Always love to see that. You have this awesome M390 blade right here. This is number 21, actually. I didn't know that they were numbered. Um, like, really sure it's M390. I don't know why, I swear it was on here. Uh, there it is, it's on the flipper tab, I knew I saw it. Right there, M390. Uh, it is a stone wash blade, pretty heavy stone wash, which is cool. I'm not a stone wash guy, I prefer satin, but it does work on this design. I do kinda wish that the hardware had been stone washed as well to match. Uh, that would've been a very nice touch, I think. Uh, or just done a satin blade. Um, but I don't know, whatever. Uh, you'll see the Tepe Designs logo right there on the blade, and that's it, really, other than that number 21 up in here. All right, uh, this blade is ridiculous. I don't know what you'd call it, a uh, trailing point, clip point, uh, harpoon or something. Has the double poon spoon, no, triple poon spoon. What up? Triple poon spoon. Um, so yeah, er, uh, aesthetically it's cool. I'm not a big speed holes guy, but it definitely makes this knife light as shit being carbon fiber um, and the, even a carbon fiber backspacer and then you have um, these speed holes. So it is super lightweight for the size of it. I mean, I think it's almost a four inch blade, uh, 3.75, something like that. Big ass knife. Um, you can see if I hold it back here. I mean, there is plenty of room on this knife for me to hang on to. So uh, if we get into ergonomics, it's, you know, it's pretty good back here. It's not the best. I, I, I don't like knives that taper down really, but it does have a hook here. So it feels pretty good in hand. And I think ultimately I'm good with it. I, it could be a little better for me personally, ergonomically. I think it just needs a little more girth down here, right? Uh, there's no choil or anything, which, you know, that would be nice. You can kind of do a flipper choil, but you know, you're right up against that edge. I'd be careful with that. Um, so ergos are, eh, they're okay on this guy, but not great. Um, you have a saber grind. Hmm? A saber grind, because it's a flat grind that doesn't start at the top, huh? I think I got that right for once. Very, very pokey tip that is, it's not dainty, but it's pretty thin up there, right? Um, yeah, so... That's your ergos and aesthetics. Carry is good. Yeah, I like the clip. I really like a uh, ceramic ball clip uh, and it lands between the two speed holes and it has a little, looks like cutout. Yep, has a little cutout there. 
it goes in pocket easy, comes out easy, didn't have any major issues or anything. Um, normally, I don't like a clip held on with one screw. It can be, you know, a little wiggly. This one's pretty good, just the slightest bit there. Um, yeah, so uh, what, do we, what do we want to talk about? Cutting, uh, it's very sharp, and it's very good at cutting. I will say that um, I didn't cut a ton of stuff. It's not my knife, and um, I had a lot of stuff in for review recently, so um, I just didn't get to you know beat up on it or anything. Plus, again, it's not my knife. Even though Justin doesn't care, um, I'm just not going to really do that because what if I fuck it up or something? Um, but I will say it's thin behind the edge and it cuts extremely well. Um, but you could pretty much expect that from looking at this knife, right? Um, carry, I talked about, uh, sounds. They are not great. I mean, it's just average, right? I, I hate to say not great, but I, I, do, I feel like I have to explain this every time, but like average sounds are good, right? It means they're not bad. Um, it just doesn't stand out or anything. And that's how this is. And that's what you're going to get with a carbon fiber build, right? Um, sorry, I got something in my nose. On a carbon fiber build, you're going to have low acoustics, in my opinion, especially with an open back design like that. Um, so, and then the speed holes, yeah, you're just not going to get acoustics really. So it, it's like a five, um, which actually with all that said is good. Um, yeah, action, dude. They dialed this detent so well. I mean, I am impressed, right? You could fail it, but like, if you just try to pull the flipper tab, it's gonna go, right? And then with the hole, oh, man, it really is dialed perfectly for the hole deployment, pressure, pressure, bang. Um, the only issue I really have with it is I don't like the design of the hole. Um, if you just get in there at the bottom and flick, it works great. Um, uh, but I, you know, I like that pressure thing and it, my finger tends to like ride up as I put pressure on it and then I'm at the top of the hole and it, I don't know. Um, or maybe I wish there was some chamfering or something or not jimping, but something to like keep you in a spot. I don't know. Um, but you know, the, the, the design of the hole is kind of part of the whole design so I get why it is the way it is. It's just, I think that's what would stop me from buying this knife, is that hole. Uh, and maybe the ergos for me personally, but um, it works really well. I don't want to say it doesn't. I think it's just going to be a personal preference thing with the hole. Um, so I just try to stay at the bottom here and, you know, grip it and rip it. Uh, but the detent is spot on. I really like the flipper tab as well. Uh, there's no jimping on it or anything, so it's smooth. It's just the perfect angle and perfect uh, detent. You just gotta rip it out. It's more of a light switch. You're not really gonna push button it because that's when you're gonna fail it. I mean, unless you really go at it. So um, again, detent is more dialed for reverse flick, but I think it's very good on the flipper tab, um, all things considered, right? So value, I, I don't, I didn't look it up. I did at some point, I can't remember. I think it was like 250 bucks. I mean, if this thing is anywhere near $300 or less, it's 100% worth the money. Uh, you know, once you get to like 400, okay, now I'm like, eh, I don't know about that. Um, but I would 100%, if, if I was more into the design, which I'm not, it's just not my aesthetic. Um, if I was more into it, I would easily pay 300 bucks for this, no problem. And it, shit, it could be a lot less than that. I don't know. Um, but the fit and finish is fantastic. Uh, whatever the OEM is, HE Designs, I, I think that's what it is. Um, sorry, but maybe Justin will list it below or I'll remember. Um, they, I mean, they, they have impressed me. They really have. Uh, so I am going to be looking out for anything they produce. That's, you know, that's for damn sure. So uh, this is the uh, Tepe Designs Hornet 2.0. I could definitely recommend it. It's not going to be perfect for lefties because you can't reverse the clip. Uh, but it is a liner lock, and that speaks 
very well to lefties um, because you don't have to worry about the frame lock and getting in the way. So uh, this is probably one of the better options out there for a lefty. So uh, in terms of a right-handed knife, right? Uh, so yeah, Hornet uh, 2.0 by Tepe Designs. Thank you again to Justin for loaning this out to me. Um, and yeah, I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will catch you later.